Since I've done other blue collar trash alcoholic videos, I thought I'd add an emulant of red wine into the mix because um, I found that when you buy red wine from the supermarket, it tends to be very hit or miss what you get, particularly in Britain where this, we seem to get the basically the what what what's the bit, what's the nicest way to say this? We get the cast offs from other countries' wine production, and. Um, I discovered that uh, to produce something that's a good emulant of red wine, with the colour, the tartness and the uh, alcoholic zing, uh, if you get standard cranberry juice like this Ocean Spray Cranberry Classic, which is a common drink here, it has those characteristics. It has the fruitiness, it's got the dry tartness. And if you then add simply a shot of vodka into it, then it adds that uh, the missing dimension. It adds a sort of alcoholic... What's the best way to describe that? It adds a depth of flavour. When you add ethanol to a fruit drink, it, it just changes the perception of the flavour. And uh, I have to say, this works out really nice. This is very similar to the red wine experience. Uh, I would suggest that if you quite like red wine, you should give this a go. Uh, but note that in reality, this is a 150ml glass, which is a fairly common size of glass, I think. And to actually emulate the actual alcoholic strength of red wine, you'd have to add two 25ml uh, shot glasses of standard 40% sort of vodka to actually get the same alcoholic content because a 150ml glass would require 50ml litres of vodka to actually bring it up to the same alcohol content uh, of a 13.5% uh, alcohol uh, red wine. But... Uh, it, Try it. Uh, try uh, mixing some vodka with cranberry juice and tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me if you think it actually tastes quite a lot like red wine. Because it certainly makes a... it's very predictable. It's, it's certainly more reliable than actually buying bottles of red wine.